Good morning, and welcome to the 2020 opening convocation of the College of St. Scholastica. I'm Associate Professor in the Health Informatics and Information Management and Chair of the Faculty. It's my honor to open this morning's program. I'd like to welcome first the Sisters of the St. Scholastica Monastery, who are a constant reminder of our precious Benedictine heritage and the living embodiment of its values and who have joined us virtually today. A welcome to the alumni and friends as well. The Saints Heritage Club, our alumna who graduated 50 or more years ago, have also joined us remotely. Thank you all for joining us today. Welcome colleagues, the faculty and staff whose daily efforts sustain our academic community and whose expertise ensures our excellence. Welcome returning students who are here to celebrate this new academic year and all it holds intellectually, socially, and spiritually. And most important, an especially warm welcome to our new students. Welcome, class of 2024, and congratulations on your acceptance to the College of St. Scholastica. For this, the college's 109th year, we have as our theme the Benedictine value of community. You'll hear a lot about community this year, probably a bit today from some of our speakers, and certainly more from all corners of the college over the coming months. We aren't just talking about community, however. We are attempting to live by it. And we challenge you to challenge yourselves to do the same. This community welcomes all. And we are so pleased that you have joined uh, us today. Let us begin our formal program with an invocation from Jess Jessica Ellingson, Director of Campus Ministry, Ms. Ellingson. Recognizing that we are a multicultural, multi-faith community, we begin this ceremony by recognizing the sacred mystery that I call God, which unites us. We turn to God for guidance and protection as we begin this new year. And so together we pray. O oh God of all life, you are a light breaking through the darkness, a beacon of hope and love and healing presence in our broken world. We give thanks for your presence in this community. We ask you to be here in this place and with us in all that we do in the year ahead. May we see your holy presence in our classmates, colleagues, and friends. May we be stewards of your blessing, your love, and may our lives and our learning bear witness to your light and healing. Through the intercession of St. Benedict and Scholastica, our patrons, and models for living. We ask you to bless our monastic community, our school, and our world. Together, let us build a community of respect and understanding. Together, let us build a community of searching and learning. Together, let us build a community of stability and stewardship. And together, let us build a community of hospitality, faith, and hope. And may it be so, amen. It is my privilege to introduce our next speaker, Sister Kathleen Del Monte. She is the college's Associate Vice President for Mission Integration and has a PhD in Applied Anthropology. And you will see her often in your years here, around campus, at events, and in your Dignitas classes. Sister Kathleen. Thank you, and thank you, Jessica, for that beautiful prayer. I join in welcoming all of you to this new year with a special welcome to our first year and our transfer students. Part of walking in the Benedictine way is to acquire a sense of place, of belonging, and at-homeness where you are. Over 100 years ago, a young woman, a Benedictine sister by the name of Mother Scholastica Kirst, discovered just that on these grounds 
on which currently sit our Kenwood campus. During Mother Scholastica's time, it was farmland, covered with fields of wild daisies, and affectionately known as the Daisy Farm. When Mother Scholastica first visited this hill with hopes of building a new monastery, the sisters' home, she had a dream that went beyond her community's needs. What was it that Mother Scholastica found here that inspired her dreams? Perhaps she saw on this hill a place where all that she knew and loved about her life as a Benedictine sister could thrive. This was to become home, and it would become yet another positive response to the community's call to serve the people of God. This sacred place, this very land on which our Kenwood campus sits, holds many stories. If this hill could talk, if the valley of silence could burst into song, what a dramatic story they would tell. A story that began with a small community of courageous Benedictine sisters, faithful to their commitment to a life of prayer, work, and living together. A community that reached out in service to the sick and school-aged children, a community that established a college and watched it grow into a community of learners. The story would be told of hundreds of sisters who lived and died here in the service of the people of Duluth and beyond. So perhaps it's more than being about place. Perhaps it's about connections and relationships, the connections that thousands of women and men have found while experiencing the awesome presence of God, the sacred, connections made while pondering life's questions, while seeking to find their place in the world, relationships marked by happy times and laughter and sharing, while remembering as well with tenderness and gentleness, times of sorrow, anxiety, and aloneness, all part of life's journey. Men and women open to life's possibilities, to stretching minds and soothing hearts, to acquiring knowledge of both great and small proportions, to lasting friendships, to finding meaning and purpose in life, to finding a home among the saints at St. Scholastica. There would be farewells, too, as women and men went forth from their experiences together to make a difference in the world, taking with them memories that would often call them back to their home away from home. So it is with the women belonging to the Saints Heritage Club who inspire us all and who after 50 years or more continue to rightfully call this place home. We are so grateful for your presence among us. The values these women have lived, the values that are put before us today, are taken from the sixth century rule of Benedict striving for the goals of community, respect, hospitality, stewardship, and love of learning is a work in progress for all of us. Constantly, we seek new ways to embody these ideals in practical ways for ourselves and for all we meet so that others may see in us the best version of ourselves. As you join your dream with ours, know that there are many people who make this journey with you. Our dedicated faculty and staff will motivate and challenge you to be more than you think you can be. 
because they want you to succeed and they want to do everything they can to help you achieve your dreams. They will also be your safety net when things get tough. Allow yourselves to learn from them and their experience as they will also learn from you. Harriet Tubman once said, always remember that you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. So welcome this year with open hearts and open minds. Make connections, build relationships, bring to this learning community your own uniqueness, helping us to become more than we are today. We promise to do the same for you. Blessings. For many of you, your first contact with the College of St. Scholastica may have been with our admission counselors who work closely with each incoming class. Ellen Johnson, Vice President for Enrollment Management, will now present our class of 2024 to the Chief Academic Officer, Ms. Johnson. Thank you, Sister Kathleen. President McDonald, Sisters of the Monastery, faculty, staff, and students, it is my honor and privilege to introduce our new students to the college. This year, almost 400 new first year and transfer students have found their new home here at the College of St. Scholastica. Our admission team enjoyed working with all of you over the last year and excited to officially welcome you as saints. You hail from 17 states and 10 countries, from Alaska to Belarus, from Maryland to Japan, from Maine to Germany, from Duluth to Superior. You each bring your unique and diverse perspectives to our community. Some of you have parents, siblings, or grandparents who attended CSS. While over 30% of you are first-generation college students forging a new path for future generations of your family. Each of you has a passion that drives you. For almost half of you, that means pursuing a degree in a healthcare field. For some of you in education, the liberal arts, business, social work. You are talented artists athletes and musicians eager to share your talents. Some of you are here to complete a degree you started many years ago, and others of you plan to spend the next seven years with us while you complete multiple degrees here at the college. No matter where you started your journey, you have all converged on this place at this time with a shared sense of belonging and dreams and a shared goal of achieving a college degree. Everyone you see around you, from your classmates in person or on Zoom, to the faculty and staff here at the college, everyone here is to help you reach your goals. You stand in the same place as new students have for years, ready to find your path and make an impact on the world. And I am officially pleased to present the class to Dr. Ryan Sandifer, Vice President for Academic Affairs. These students understand the journey ahead, have rich experiences to share, and are well prepared to be dynamic members of the St. Scholastica community. Dr. Sandifer, they are officially in your hands. On behalf of the faculty, I accept these students into our community. Students, you are hereby full-fledged partners in our quest for responsible living and meaningful work. Please know we are here to support you and guide you in your efforts. We welcome you. It is my great privilege to introduce the next speaker, the 13th President of the College of St. Scholastica, Dr. Barbara McDonald, 
Please welcome President McDonald. Well, good afternoon and greetings. A very warm welcome to our incoming class of 2024, as well as all the faculty, staff, and alumni who are with us virtually today. We are so glad to be with you today in the spirit of community and hospitality. Convocation is our college's ceremonial welcome and beginning of the academic year. Today, celebrating St. Scholastica's 109th year, our gathering is very different for sure. We meet via live stream, adhering to safety guidelines under the current pandemic environment. Many who would have been here in person helping us host this event, especially as you've heard, the members of the Saints Heritage Club are joining us remotely. But today is no less special. In fact, I think it's even more meaningful than ever as we think about our new reality and the ways in which we come together in community and move forward. I joined St. Scholastica as your 13th president just over a year ago, and our lives have taken many big turns since then. But here at the college, we have never lost sight of our Benedictine mission in preparing our students to be the leaders of tomorrow. Being bold and Benedictine is taking on new parameters and inspiring us in new ways as we adapt to circumstances that were frankly unimaginable just six months ago. To our incoming students, you have chosen a remarkable and unique institution of learning, one that is centered on your personal development and success. We pride ourselves on providing you with an educational experience designed to fit your needs and goals, an experience that is flexible, adaptable, and future-focused. Our faculty and staff are deeply dedicated to your journey. You will make new and lasting friendships and gain faculty and staff mentors who will follow you long after graduation. Our alumni are also here to support you as you launch your professional lives. No matter what major you eventually choose, the St. Scholastica experience is built upon a liberal arts foundation and the Catholic intellectual tradition. This means that you will examine some of the most important questions in life, those ethical and moral issues that help us realize how we want to live, how we want to work collectively to solve problems within our communities and how to create a good and just life for all. As we say in our mission statement, we provide intellectual and moral preparation for responsible living and meaningful work. St. Benedict advises us that we listen with the ear of our heart. Ever since St. Scholastica's first class of students took their seats in 1912, our founding Benedictine sisters have believed in educating the whole person, the head, the heart, and the spirit. As you begin your journey at St. Scholastica, we are reminded of how important that living legacy is. Our country, and certainly our world, are experiencing dramatic and traumatic events. A pandemic health crisis, climate change, shifts in ecosystems, economic disparities, and hardship, issues of systemic racism, political polarization, and violence. But we are a people of hope, inspired and grounded by our traditions. Our founders, the Benedictine Sisters of St. Scholastica Monastery, built a strong foundation for us all as innovative, forward-thinking educators, scientists, and renowned artists. Did you know that one of the first two female scientists to winter over in Antarctica was one of our sisters? that Benedictines from Duluth have included nationally known cancer researchers, classical music composers, and visual artists. We are very proud to carry forth their spirit of achievement in service of human flourishing, and especially their love of learning. 
We are committed to providing you with an educational experience that will prepare you to dive in to critical issues, to think deeply about them, and actively engage with diversity of thought. Guided by our outstanding professors, you can all become well-rounded citizens who will uncover creative, sustainable, and thoughtful solutions for our community's most difficult problems. Solutions that are rooted in social justice, stewardship, and community, and that embody respect and a spirit of loving inclusion. Ultimately, the St. Scholastico experience is about personal transformation. And in your time here, your professors will provide you with excellent pro 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 professional preparation. You will stretch yourself, building your intellectual and moral competencies, and developing your understanding of equity, diversity, and inclusion. You'll further discover virtues such as empathy and courage, compassion, and how to harness your gifts and strengths. This journey of complex change is exciting and can be unsettling and scary at times. We know that. So please remember, you're not in this alone. Call upon your faculty and staff, whether that's your professor or perhaps an RA or someone that you connect with. No matter what your question or concern is, we're here for you. It's very inspiring for me to think about the talent and energy within all of you. I hope you have joined our learning community so you can be part of the next generation of leaders in the humanities, in business, in education, in science, in healthcare, and so many other fields. And you can do this. And we're help you, we're here to help you make it happen because you are our hope for a brighter future. As you take classes in Veritas general education program and in your major, you will develop the intellectual strength mental endurance and agility needed to become a change maker. In the process, you will find some answers, but if you're doing it right, you will uncover even more questions, questions that the world needs you to ask. Through this demanding yet joyful process of learning, you will be creating your own transformation. The College of St. Scholastica has very high expectations for you and for all of us for you in particular with your learning and for the relationships you will cultivate. I promise to you, as we go on this journey together, that I will do my best to ensure that all of us, our faculty and staff, are committed to living out our values of hospitality, respect, stewardship, love of learning, and most importantly this year, our value of community. Together, when we commit to these values, we can make the world a better place. So thank you for joining us as students at the College of St. Scholastica, and I wish you the very best of luck as you begin your new year. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McDonald. For our next speaker, Please welcome our student government president, Ms. Shanti Armillo Cruz. Hi, welcome class of 2024. First off, I want to congratulate each and every single one of you. However, I want to give a special shout out to those of you who are first generation. Uh, those of you who applied, accepted, and are currently attending while being first generation. To be even more specific, I want to narrow in and give an extra congratulations and welcome to students of color of class of 2024. Despite all odds, you're here, and that's something that should be celebrated. Four years ago, I was in your very shoes. I nervously sat in Mitchell Auditorium listening to our student body president deliver a speech. In the speech, they gave us a challenge, a challenge of growth. All these years later, those words stick with me. And even when I was asked to deliver this speech to you all today, that was one thing I wanted to ensure I brought up to, to you all. I want to I wanna encourage each and every one of you to take advantage of the opportunities that you'll be offered throughout the next four years. 
Try new things, take classes that pique your curiosity, but aren't in your major, challenge your thought process, strike up conversation with anyone and everyone, go to events, activities, and clubs that you wouldn't have ever thought you'd be interested in. You might find your favorite club on campus, or at the very least, get some free food. This year is a year of first for all of us. For most of y'all, it's the first year of adulthood of college. For others, it's existing in a world where masks are the new normal, and it's actually socially acceptable to avoid people, you know, in the store. We've all experienced a roller coaster in the past year, from personal missteps to national and global outcries against racial injustice to a global pandemic. There are few very big messages that we all need to cling to. Be kind to one another, be thoughtful to one another, be compassionate towards one another, hold space for yourselves and others. In order to exist right now, when the world seems to be up in flames all around us, the only thing we can control is ourselves and how we're treating each other. One of the very first actionable steps you can take to embody those me messages is to wear your mask and follow all social distancing requirements, ensuring that we prioritize not only our own safety, but the safety of everyone else around us. By following these guidelines, it ensures that at least in our CSS community, no one's left behind. It ensures that we not only care about ourselves, but each other. With that, I'll end with, on a few pieces of advice I wish I'd gotten as a freshman. So go to bed, make sure you put your phone on, do not disturb, take rests and plenty of them. Go to class, even if it's the only thing you can mentally do that day. Reach out to your professors, connect with your advisor, take advantage of the counseling services and make sure you get your Einstein's coffee before 12, otherwise you'll be in a long line. Get involved, even if it's just attending one club event a week. Learn how to say no. Learn your limits and stay true to yourself. Don't involve yourself in the high school drama. It's not worth it. Last but not least, drink water, do your homework, and use that hand sanitizer. Great advice, Shanti. Hi, welcome class of 2024. First off, I want to con Before our closing prayer, I want to say congratulations. You are all now officially saints. Thank you. Finally, a couple of reminders. All first year students be sure to take a selfie for the class of 2024 photo collage and send your photo to vpstudentaffairs at css.edu. To close our program today, Sydney Dahl, class of 2021, will offer a benediction, and we will end with the school song, Vivat, Vivat, Saint Scholastica. here at CSS and I'm going to provide you with this year's convocation benediction for the 2020 school year. Let us unite our hearts in prayer and entrust the hands of the Lord, the students, staff, and faculty as we navigate this new and unprecedented time together. May God who began this good work in you carry it through to completion this school year, enabling you to use your talents to the fullest. May God give you the grace to make wise choices and to be faithful to your commitments always confident in the support of those who love you. May God bless you with health, security, and strength as you work hard toward academic and personal success. May God bless you with discomfort at easy answers and half-truths so that you will live deep within your heart. May God bless you with anger at injustice and oppression so that you will work for justice, equality, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, war, and sickness so that you will reach out your hand to comfort them and change their pain into joy. May God bless you with the foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done. May your integrity continue to be a gift to our communities and may the spirit of God 
guide your hearts and minds this academic year. Amen. Hello everyone, my name is Sydney Dahl. Thank you, everyone. Have a great start of the year. Thank you. 